Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about writing our strategic plan. And for this, we're going to be using the cascade model. And in this particular recording, I'm just going to give an overview of the model. And then in addition to that, talk about kind of the highest level pieces of that model, which are the mission, vision, and values. So in this presentation, as I just mentioned, I'll introduce the cascade model and then talk about how they address or don't uh, mission, vision, and values. All right, so this is the cascade model, and I like this model because it's fairly simplistic, right? There are a lot of different types of strategic planning models. Most of them follow this kind of, um, kind of flow, right? Um, and some of them will use different terminology. Instead of values, they'll talk about um, objectives here and then goals here. But I like this one, and we're going to follow this through the course. And you will use this in building your strategic plan, which is a part of your final, um, your final assignment. So in this, you know, the only thing I find miss missing is the mission, right? So we have vision, values, focus areas, objectives, KPIs, and project. KPIs, of course, being key performance indicators. And I have uh, recordings on all of these particular elements, and I go more into detail starting at really the focus areas. And that's primarily because when we think about the organizations we're choosing for our project, they will have already established missions, visions, and to some degree values. So I'm not going to concentrate on that from the cascade model. Of course, there's plenty of additional reading in the model itself, which is a PDF form. Also, one reason I like the model is because in that PDF, you could, there are clickable um, so sections in that where you could go into videos to look at how do we create a value? How do we write a value? Things like that. Um, and if you want more information, you can easily um, delve into those. So one thing I do find missing is the mission, right? So we pretty, pretty much know what a mission is. We've covered this in other courses. It's a written statement that defines the final aim of the healthcare organization. It's really our reason for being, why we exist. And classically, the statement defines the overall purpose of the organization, the target clients, the services it offers, and distinguishing it from um, really the competition, and which areas geographically it serves and in which organization it operates. Like if it's um, um, a mission of, you know, Hammett, how does it operate within the mission of UPMC? So this is basically the strategic planning process. Um, I've outlined this in other recordings that I had for week one, but primarily we're here at the mission and vision and that's set by the corporate executives, right? And then everything kind of flows from there. So with the mission, right, we have at the very top level, then we have next is the vision of the organization, right? So what is a vision? Well, a vision statement looks forward and creates a mental image of the ideal state that the organization wishes to achieve. It is both inspirational and aspirational. Inspirational means emotionally moving, right? And aspirational means it's something where you want to go. You don't necessarily, you're not necessarily there yet. Um, and that's why it's supposed to challenge employees to think about where we could be as an organization. And it briefly describes the values important to the organization. And the values here are really important in terms of um, moving forward in our strategic plan because everything should align to particular visions. Your vision statement is the anchor that stops you getting lost at sea. So if you're considering one thing or another, you're considering, you know, specific opportunities and whether one fits and one doesn't, you just always go back to the vision. What is your vision for alignment in terms of where we want to be in one, three, four, five years, right? And so that's going to be important in terms of steering you in that direction. It will help to tunnel your strategy towards the outcomes that matter most to the organization. And everything that you write in your plan will ultimately be helping you to get closer to your vision. Now, visions can be, you know, changed. They often are, right? And they should be once you maybe obtain that particular vision that you wrote three years ago, then you have to change it. Or circumstances might change within the environment, as we've obviously seen with the COVID-19 
era, right? So this is a look at the Cleveland Clinic mission and vision. Now throughout all of these uh, recordings that I do on the Cascade model, I refer back to examples using the Cleveland Clinic. And so I just ho hope that helps in terms of focusing on what exactly do these particular things mean and do. So here we have the Cleveland Clinic mission. It's to provide better care of the sick, investigation of their problems, and further identifications of those who serve. So this one's fairly simple, right? What does it do? Well, it provides better care of the sick, investigates their problems like diagnoses, and then education of those who serve. So there are two big kind of also um, stakeholder groups, right? Patients and then providers in terms of it being a research uh, hospital, right? So basically that's gonna be the two pillars of um, who they serve. It doesn't necessarily say where they serve, so that might be something that um, they're obviously expanding geographically, so um, that might be kind of a fluid thing. So the vision here, our vision for Cleveland Clinic is to be the best place for care anywhere and the best place to work in healthcare. Again, here you have two groups, right? They have dressed both the patient, the best pay place for care, anywhere. Now they add the geography, right, which is interesting, and then the place to work in healthcare. So here they mean out of all the particular hospitals in the world, it would be the best place for care. That's really, that's really, um, you know, a lofty vision because there are a lot, right, and the best place to work in healthcare. So then let's talk about the values. Values are the set of principles and rules and cultural aspects governing the healthcare organization and determining its institutional behavior. So of course we know values are kind of like core beliefs. They're like um, what everyone kind of shares in terms of uh, what's important to the organization and how they should how they should act right or carry themselves in terms of that it's the ethical code that gives the healthcare organizations its soul and character and values need to be shared and widely disseminated and again going back to cleveland clinic here are the values it has quality and safety empathy teamwork integrity inclusion and innovation so this concludes the overall um kind of just overview of uh, the strategic planning model, the cascade model that we're going to use throughout the course, and taking a look too at the importance of the mission, vision, and values.